continued support and assistance, not only with mitigation, but also with building human resource capacity. We should be complemented by sustainable growth and transformation. Increased resource capacity and resilient infrastructure will clearly assist with risk reduction and resilience. Like many small island developing states, Grenada faces extreme risk in the agriculture sector, which not only affect our food security, but also have negative impacts on our main export crops, food crops, forestry, livestock, and fisheries. In order to respond to these impacts and increasing threats, Grenada is moving quickly to implement Climate Smart Agriculture as one of the climate change adaptation strategies to reduce impacts. We therefore have an urgent need to assess additional resources to guarantee the survival of our agriculture sector through climate smart practices. Mr. President, we not only have to grapple with climate change, but with ensuring the conservation and sustainable use of the oceans, seas, and marine resources. This continues to be one of Grenada's top policy items. Our government has adopted the ambitious Blue Growth Agenda to sustainably utilize our vast marine territory, which is over 70 times the size of our land space, and its complex resources, which represent a significant contributor to GDP of the country. Grenada